Hey guys, welcome to another very exciting quick VFX tutorial where I will show you how to create awesome visual effects without boring you for a full 30 minutes. Today I will show you how you can control the time of your video to speed up, slow down, repeat, 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 and even uh, self -watch. For this, we will use time remapping in Adobe After Effects and I would say this is a pretty basic technique so you definitely don't have to be an After Effects whiz to follow along. But enough of me talking, let's jump right into the tutorial. Here's a short clip from our Zombie Hunter visual effects short film. In the clip I enter the scene from the right, Selena's already standing on the spot where the zombie will be spawning and then she races at me with superhuman speed. Now there is a whole bunch of visual effects that I ended up adding for the final effect but let's just concentrate on speeding up Selena's run part. If you want to modify the time of a layer in Adobe After Effects, what you have to do, simply select your layer, right click it and then go over to the time context menu. In here you will find four options. There's freeze frame which will basically turn your layer into a single image. Then there's time stretch. Time stretch speeds up or slows down the entire layer and it affects it uniformly. You can control the amount, but you can't control which areas of the clip are going to be sped up and slowed down. Then there's time reverse layer, which will just play the layer back to front. And then my favorite option, which can basically do all of the things below, is time remapping. So let's enable time remapping. You will see the time remap effect added to the layer and you will see two keyframes at the beginning and the end of your layer. These keyframes represent the time of the clip at this position in your composition. So at the very beginning the time of this layer will be at 0 seconds. Go to the end of your clip and the time of your layer will be at 9.12 which is actually the duration of the composition. So this just means at the beginning of our composition the clip is at the beginning, at the end of our composition the clip is at the end. Now the great thing is that you can modify these keyframes. So if I take the end keyframe and drag it into the middle of the composition I will basically have compressed the entire layer into the first half of the composition. The entire layer now plays through start to finish from the beginning until the middle of the composition. After the end keyframe which represents the end of time for this clip, it just holds the last frame. Let's quickly undo that and our layer is back to normal. Now the cool thing is that you can add new keyframes. So what I want to do, let's say we wanted to speed up the running part. So let's go to the beginning where Selena starts running, create a new keyframe. And then let's go to the part where she finishes running, which is probably about there, so probably where you want to cut the video anyways, and create another keyframe. Now, this time stretch here, the area between these two keyframes represents the time that Selena takes to run towards me. In order to speed this up, simply take the second keyframe and push it towards the left. This compresses the time between the keyframes, so the time between when Selena starts running and finishes running gets compressed, it gets shorter. So if you now play back this clip, just the part where Selena runs has been massively sped up. Now you may notice that the clip after Selena finishes running plays back really slowly and that is because if you look at what we actually did, let's go one step backwards with Ctrl Z, we move this keyframe towards the left that compresses this time and makes it faster but it also stretches out the end part of the clip. If you wanted to keep the end the same, you would have to move these two keyframes because these two keyframes represent the time for the end of your clip. So if you pull this closer, we're still compressing the time between Selena starts running and end running, but we leave the remainder of the clip unchanged. So if we now play this back, Selena's running has been sped up, but the rest of the clip plays back as normal. And then, just like before, after the final keyframe, the clip just holds the last frame. If you wanted to do something more crazy like repeat a certain part or make Selena run backwards for a little while, all you'd have to do is add a few more keyframes. So let's make Selena's run time a little bit longer again, just so we have a little bit more space to work with. And then what I'm going to do, is I'm going to create another keyframe here. And then I'm going to have her run backwards. So I will go back a little bit, create another keyframe where she's a little bit further back and then drag this keyframe over the next one. So what is going to happen is this is going to play forward. And then from here, it's going to play the video clip in reverse. So Selena's going to run backwards a little bit. And then from there, she's going to continue forwards again. Now this may seem a little bit random, it doesn't really suit the effect we're trying to achieve, but I just wanted to show you that the time remap effect gives you full control over the timing of your layer. 
So let's quickly delete the keyframes where Selena is running backwards because it does look kind of silly. And so again, we're just ending up with this clip where Selena's run part is sped up. Let's compress a little bit more, make it a little bit faster again. Obviously, we are speeding up the entire clip. That means I'm also sped up, which isn't really what we're trying to go for, but that is really simple to solve. All we'd have to do is we'd have to duplicate the layer. So select the layer, press Ctrl D to duplicate it, press U to reveal all animated properties, select the time remap effect and delete it. I'm also going to rename this layer to Tobias. Finally, with the Tobias layer selected, simply select the pen tool, zoom out and let's move forward to the final position where I'm standing and then simply draw a mask around the character on the right side. Uh, make sure you include the shadow, which is something that tends to trip me up as well. If we solo this top layer, you'll see it's just a little overlay for the right side where I'm walking into the scene and because we have not modified this layer in any way, it happens in real time. Underneath that we have the zombie run layer and so if we unsolo this, I'm sitting on the right side so you'll notice Selena is sped up but I'm moving in real time. Obviously the moment Selena gets too close you can see the mask cutting in and this is where you've probably cut the clip anyways. But now if we play this clip back we have a visual effect of Selena running at me with superhuman speed. Time remapping simply allows you to speed up, slow down, reverse and repeat any part of your layer in any way that you want. And that is all there is to it. Don't forget to click the subscribe button up there for more cool visual effects and filmmaking tutorials. I certainly hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, favorite it and share it with the world. If you have any comments, questions or suggestions, leave them down in the section below or come and find Surface Studio on Facebook, Twitter or on Google+. Until next time, I will see you later.